Today, we are diving into a topic that's crucial for every small business owner out there. The 45-day payment rule for MSMEs. On the surface, it seems like a straightforward policy aimed at protecting small businesses. But the reality is proving to be a bit more complicated. If you're an MSME owner, you probably know what I'm talking about. So let's break it down and see what's really going on here. Hello Namaskar, welcome to Mindsing's Weekly Wednesday Podcast, your compliance card, where we dive deep into the world of compliance. As Wednesday arrives, so do we with deep insights, engaging discussion and a fresh perspective about compliance and law. Alright, so let's get some context in here. The 45 day payment rule was introduced by the government of India to ensure that micro and small enterprises get their payment within 45 days from larger companies. The idea was simple prevent payment delays, improve cash flow, and help these small businesses thrive. Sounds good, right? But as it turns out, the crown reality is quite different. Here's the thing on paper, it looks like a solid move. But in practice, it's been anything but smooth sailing. Instead of easing the financial burdens of MSCs, the rule has actually made things worse for many. We have been reading reports and talking to a few of our friends in the industry and the feedback is pretty consistent. Cash flow issues are on the rise, market shares are sinking. It feels like the rule is more of a hurdle than help. Let's start with cash flow. We all know that cash flow is a lifeblood of any business, especially in small enterprises. The 45-day rule was supposed to keep the floor steady. But what's really happening is that MSEs are often left waiting at the mercy of large companies. The rule doesn't consider the complex, sometimes sluggish payment cycles of these big players. In industries like textiles, where payment cycles are traditionally longer, this rule clashes hard in reality. Having to ba- Imagine having to balance your books when the payments you are expecting are delayed, not because of your fault, but because the large enterprises need more time to adjust is like trying to swim against the tide. And it doesn't stop you. Another unintended consequences is that MSEs are becoming less attractive to large buyers. Why? Well, large companies prefer flexibility and this rigid 45 days deadline is anything but that. They might opt for traders who can often more lenient payment terms, leaving MSEs out in the cold. Take the textile industry. For example, it's already grappling with its own set of challenges from fluctuating raw material cost to seasonal demand shift. The last thing these businesses need was another layer of financial pressure. The the 45-day rule doesn't account for these. It's a one-size-fits-all approach in a very diverse market. Now, let's talk about the legal side of things. Section 43B subsection H of the Income Tax Act. This section basically says that if a larger company doesn't pay an MSME on time, they can't deduct the unpaid amount from their taxable income. It's meant to be a stick to encourage timely payments, but in reality, it is just adding another layer of complication. I mean, sure, it's a good idea to hold the big players accountable, but if they are not ready to adopt, it's the MSMEs that end up taking the hit. We have seen industry bodies like the SME Chamber of India urging the government to not queue into corporate pressure and maintain the 45-day rule. They are pushing for more support for MSEs like loan under the differential rate of interest scheme and changing the NPA definition from 90 days to 180 days for the sector. These are all great suggestions. But the underlying message is clear. The 45-day rule in its current form just isn't cutting it. The chamber is even highlighting how some corporates are avoiding platforms like TRADs, which are designed to make payments smoother for MSMEs, and pushing for deregistration from the Udyam portal. It's a mess, to put it bluntly. So what's the solution? 
In our opinion, we need a more flexible approach. The 45-day rule should be more of a guideline than a hard deadline. With room for industry-specific adjustments, different sector operate on a different cycles. And a one-size-fits-all rule just doesn't work. We would argue that the government should look at creating a tired system, maybe 45 days for some, 60 or even 90 for others, based on the norms of each industry. This way, we can support MSEs without squeezing them in the wrong place. At the end of the day, the intention behind the 45-day rule is commendable. It's about making sure that the smallest players in the economic machine aren't ground down by any by the bigger ones. But like many things, the devil in the details right now, those details are hurting more than helping. A little more thought, a bit more flexibility and perhaps we can turn this around into something that truly benefits our MSCs. Or let's say the bigger companies adapt to it. Hmm. Will they? That's the question. Thanks for tuning into MindSync's podcast. If you found this episode informative, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the world of compliance and advisory services. Until next time, stay compliant, stay informed.